Hi there, I'm attorney Ben Kennedy. This is my colleague, attorney Chauncey Drury. And today we are here to talk about the process of how to obtain disability benefits from the Social Security Administration. For most claimants, the process to be approved for disability benefits involves filing the application, receiving an initial denial by the Disability Determination Services, filing an appeal and request for hearing, and then attending a hearing before an administrative law judge. So in order to obtain benefits, you have to start by filing an application. You file an application at www.ssa.gov. Click on the disability section and then click on file an application. The application will ask a number of questions including your name, social security number, your past work, and will ask you impairments as to why you're not able to work anymore. After you file an application, your claim will be sent to the Disability Determination Services, which is a state agency that works in conjunction with Social Security Administration to evaluate your claim. The odds of getting a favorable decision at DDS are relatively low. So your goal is to get your case in the hands of a judge. Now to do that, you've got to get a decision from the Disability Determination Services, otherwise known as DDS. They're going to send you a number of forms. It's very important to complete those forms as soon as possible. Because the sooner you complete those forms, the sooner they can get your decision out, the sooner you can appeal that decision, and the sooner you can get in before a judge and win your case. After you receive your denial from DDS, you'll file an appeal. You'll have 60 days to file that appeal, and your appeal is essentially a request for hearing before an administrative law judge. Owing to the backlog of cases before the Social Security Administration, it may take a year to two before you will be before a judge at a hearing. So as Chauncey indicated, unfortunately it's a long wait between the time you appeal your DDS decision until the time you get into a hearing. So oftentimes my clients ask me, Ben, what should I be doing between this period of appeal and the hearing? What you should be doing is making sure you have all the evidence you need to prove your case. How do we do that? By documenting all of your conditions. So how do you do that? You go into your doctor and explain all of your conditions. Maybe your doctor will refer you to another doctor. Maybe your doctor will indicate a treatment plan. You're going to execute that treatment plan. When you do that, medical records get created. And when you create medical records, that's evidence to prove your case. The more evidence, the higher probability of success. Sometime before your hearing is scheduled, you may receive a letter or a phone call requesting that you go to a CE, which is a doctor hired by the Social Security Administration to evaluate your case. It's very important that you attend the CE if so requested. If you don't attend, the judge may hold it against you at hearing. At some point in time, your hearing is going to get scheduled. When it is, you're going to receive notice in the mail. The notice is going to indicate specifically on which date it will be scheduled, what time, and where it's going to be held. Once your hearing is scheduled, the next thing you should do is submit all evidence that's relevant to your case. The relevant evidence includes any medical records starting one year prior to your alleged onset date going through the present date, including the most recent treatment dates. Now let's talk about the hearing. The hearing will be held before an administrative law judge and it is an informal hearing and the public will not be present. You will give sworn testimony that will last about 20 minutes and then the vocational expert will testify after that. The vocational expert will testify to any jobs that you may be able to work in spite of your conditions. As you would expect, the majority of your testimony will be about your impairments and the limitations that result from them. You will also testify about your past relevant work or the work that you performed in the past 15 years in order for the vocational expert to be able to assess whether you can still perform it. Now it's highly unlikely that you're going to get a decision right in hearing. So there's going to be a number of events that happen after hearing. Number one, you're going to get a decision in writing from the judge. This decision in writing from the judge will take approximately 30 to 90 days to get to you. After you receive the decision, assuming it's favorable, you're going to get a second letter in the mail. That second letter is going to be the award letter. The award letter will indicate specifically how much you're going to get paid and when you're going to get paid. If you would like to retain an attorney from our firm, the Baxton Shanker National Disability Group, then please call us at 303-300-8906. You can also find more information on the web at www.ssdihelpteam.com.